Hi Julie, this is Nail Bliss responding to your holiday tag video. And um, I'm not on camera because I prefer it that way. I hope that's okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and answer your questions. Uh, I'm going to combine favorite holiday traditions and any family traditions because all my holiday traditions are family traditions. Um, let's see, um, the favorite holiday tradition is, I remember growing up, um, the holiday dinner, we'd all cook it together. Um, we'd all, all the kids and, um, dad too, and mom, we'd all be in the kitchen, um, doing something for dinner, whether it was chopping the vegetables or making the soft drinks or something. Um, everybody had something to pitch in and help with. And uh, I also remember um, one of the things that we always make for holiday dinner is um, holiday dressing. Some people call it stuffing. And uh, it's kind of uh, a really important component of the meal. And uh, my mom would be She'd get up, you know, she'd get up way early and start cooking, you know, when everybody else was still asleep, you know, just to deal with the turkey or whatever she was making. And so by the time, um, you know, around about midday, she'd start to be get tired and sort of peter out and uh, there would be still stuff to do. And my father would jump up and say, I know, I'll make the dressing. And it was a running joke every year because then all the girls would jump up and say, no, we'll do it. We'll do it because we couldn't exactly trust him to do it right. So uh, even though he was a good cook, um, it, it was a running joke. We didn't want him to mess it up. So we'd all, we'd all certainly find new energy and uh, go and uh, take care of it before he could get to it. And he would laugh and we would laugh. And it's a, it's a fun memory. And uh, let's see, number three, um, ornaments. Okay, we didn't really have personalized ornaments in my family. Uh, we just kind of had the, um, you know, the regular colored glass ornaments that um, a lot of people use. But we always bought, you know, new ones and pretty ones and um, had a tree. And uh, let's see, number four. Um, what am I doing for the holidays? Well, uh, spending it fellowshipping with family and friends, eating good food, um, remembering those who aren't with us any longer. And then after we do all that, if we have any energy left, we like to go and catch the new Christmas Day releases. And this year, I really want to see it's complicated. And... Um, I don't know whatever else is out there. I'm I'm not sure, but I'm sure there's at least one other um, big one that I'll want to see. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, let's see. Are you a late or an early Christmas shopper? I would have to say I am early and late because I start thinking about it early. I start thinking about what I'm going to get for this person and that person. But then there's always somebody who you can't figure out what you're going to get. There's always that hard to buy for person. And I usually end up leaving that person to the last minute because I never figure out what I really want to get. And then I end up panicking and just running out and getting whatever um, so that um, I can make sure I still have them covered. But um, So I would have to say both for early or late. Uh, I remember one year um, I had forgotten to get a gift for my boyfriend and he was on his way over and I remembered, oh no, I hadn't gotten him anything. So while he was in route, I ran out to the local drugstore and I bought him a gift and he, he liked it too. And when I told him about it, he didn't believe that I had just bought it on Christmas day and I, and I did. And it was at, I think it was like a cologne or something, but he liked it and it was okay, but um, that was really the worst time that I ever left it to that late. Before. Um, who usually cooks the holiday dinners? Well, it used to be my mom, but now it's me and I really enjoy doing it. 
And uh, let's see, this year I'm going to make a rib roast with garlic and I'm going to make some homemade mashed potatoes and I'm not really sure yet which vegetable I'm going to use um, but I'll do some vegetable. I'll probably do some macaroni and cheese and um, and uh, I think I'm going to make a homemade coconut cake as well. I think so. And I can't really think of whatever else I want so I think that's pretty much it um, for the holiday dinner but I'm looking forward to it. I uh, dream about that roast all year long so I'm really looking forward to that and okay number oh number seven have I ever gone Christmas caroling well not caroling in the traditional sense I mean in the sense of gr getting together with a group and going out singing to people in public no not in that format but um, I've always been a part of, you know, like growing up and everything, uh, plenty of Christmas pageants, Christmas plays, you know, at church and at school. So definitely done that kind of Christmas um, performances before. Okay, uh, number eight, do you live where it snows? Okay, it snows about once every 10 years or so. And the last time that happened... Um, it was just enough snow to blanket the ground. The ground was white and the whole neighborhood was uh, in an uproar. Everybody was so excited. Everybody was running out of their houses and with their cameras and taking pictures and um, everybody was real excited. But it was really beautiful. But it only lasted for, oh, I'd say three or four hours um, and then it melted. And then we have to wait another 10 years for it to snow again. So not a whole lot of snow. Um, one thing that makes me happiest at Christmas, I would have to say, um, um, being with loved ones, um, laughing about the good times, and, uh, seeing people light up when you give them a gift when they didn't expect one. I just did that yesterday. Um, I took gifts for my favorite, um, servers and greeters at my favorite Sunday brunch restaurant and uh, nobody was expecting a gift and uh, people just lit up like a Christmas tree <laughs> pardon the pun but it was really cool and fun so I really do enjoy doing that and then let's see um, number 10 um, what do you most want for Christmas okay so it's not a wrappable gift or something you can get at the mall. What I really want most for Christmas is for people to realize that all people, whether they're exactly like you or not, or whether you like them or not, um, deserve basic human respect and dignity. Um, I'm really tired of people walking around hating on innocent people just because they can. We can do better than that. Um, so show some kindness this Christmas um, to your fellow human. Um, instead of voicing your usual put down or criticism of the next person um, you come across that you want to hate on, why not find something to compliment them on? Like um, even if you can't think of anything positive to say, you know, say they have nice shoes or nice hair or, or a nice smile. You can find something positive to say. Um, to them and you'll see their face light up it, it'll make someone's day and it'll make your own too because you'll get a response that you weren't expecting so I hope everybody will try that this Christmas season and I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone Happy New Year and take care bye